Ladies and gentlemen, Reed Timmer has confirmed dangerous tornado action near Clinton, Wisconsin. The bean shape of the supercell is obvious in reflectivity. Tornado would be at the southern end of the bean. These MCV events are tornado factories. And we got a lot of weather action changes happening as we speak. The Red Donger has now been named potential tropical cyclone number six. And Freddy is almost ready. And then tomorrow's giant freaking severe weather danger area now has its orange bean. Will it get a red bean by tomorrow? Probably. Yeah, that would be my guess. And then the Capital Weather Gang is letting us know another big heat wave is coming to the Pacific Northwest. Not as big as the late June one that killed 800 Canadians. But Portland will top 100 late this week and Seattle will be over 90. We'll probably see some records. The wildfire risk will also escalate, and it's already bad now. My new crush is Air Force pilot, or she Navy? Janet Snakehole. I just thought I'd let you know. She has pretty eyes. Radar Omega is letting us know that we have a tornado watch issued until 10 p.m. Central Time for parts of Illinois and Indiana, and this includes the city of Chicago. Storm's capable of producing a couple of tornadoes, and it's already produced one. Winds to 70 miles per hour, up to 1.5 inch hail, are expected to develop northern Illinois and spread east southeast through late evening. Now, if I had to guess, which I'm going to do, the thing that will go over Puerto Rico and the islands and then hit Florida will probably be a tropical storm. But, bam, look at that triple problem area. This is the GFS around the 23rd. It has bona fide category one or weak category two hurricane going into land about where Mexico and Texas meet. Now it has been spinning this tornado, I'm sorry, hurricane up for like four or five runs. And so, I mean, that's two weeks away, but it is the thing I'm obsessed with. I do not get to pick and choose that would, and look at the triple, look at that. I'm going to stop it there. Boom. Let's go back, shall we? We're going on back. Look at that. See that the triple one two three that's when we get to our danger zone of hurricane season when the action will get thick and it'll be very interesting so we definitely need to watch out for the 23rd i have put our first super major mega alert date from the 20th through the 27th and this would fall right in the middle of that so i won't be watching it for you non-stop that is what i do I think this thing would have a chance if it slips over the Hispania Ola Islands and stays north and then slides under here. I definitely think it would have a chance to be like a Category 1 hurricane, possibly. The atmospheric defense team has been doing a great job, though. So I'm not too worried about it yet, but we will pay attention to it pretty much second to second, minute to minute, hour to hour, day to day. And hopefully we will all make it through Unlikable August. Why am I calling it Unlikable August? I don't know. It seems like everybody's a little more unlikable in August, including myself. Here's a big hot area. Here's your big fog area. Here's a big wildfire risk area with more fog area. They're setting up tents in Texas to deal with the coronavirus overflow. And the HWRF has the potential tropical cyclone six slipping right above the islands and getting to almost hurricane strength as it punches Florida right in the nose. And we'll probably carry on through, go back into the Gulf, restrengthen a little, and then go back up into the Crystal River area. Want to watch it again? All right, let's watch it again together. So it goes over to Puerto Rico as tropical storm. And then the shear and the dry air keep it down. But then it gets to 997 millibars as it makes landfall in Florida. Then it would pop over the nose and then you know, probably restrengthen a little. And like I said, I would put this at the Tropical Storm, Category 1, Hurricane Strength. I think it's the next one we really got to watch out for. I went for a walk at noon, and I can confirm, yeah, it's really hot in Texas. Yeah, you know, a lot of states are really having problems with hospitalizations for the COVID. Uh, some keyboard warriors disagree. And there are parts of the world where, like, they're seeing major, oh, caliente temperatures. This is the Sahara, 48 Celsius, are you kidding me?
smoke from Siberia wildfires reaches North Pole in a historic first. Yep, so I'll be tracking this thing and then tracking that thing and then just tracking a little bit of everything. That's what I do. So stay tuned. Stay aware. I got a feeling it's going to be a wild August and then a wilder September and then an even wilder October. And yeah, we are all in this together as Earthlings. Yay. All right, my August fun fundraiser still rages on. We're stuck at $317. If you'd like to contribute, it'd be greatly appreciated. I plan to do like the best job ever this August. Although that's, you know, up to each interpretation. But if you'd like to contribute, I got a snail mail, PayPal, Venmo, Cash App, Patron, and a whole lot of love and appreciation for you guys. All right, everybody stay cool. God bless everyone.